What is up guys, it's GNDRC here and we're back with another video. Today we are going to be unboxing the Easy Run Max 8 from Hobby Wing. We'll be right back after the break. And here you have it. This is the Easy Run Max 8 brushless electronic speed controller from Hobby Wing. This is 150 amp, best 418 truggy and monster truck here on the back side you have an overview as to the features it has in three different languages it says here waterproof all weather conditions super strong built-in BEC adjustable output voltage that is 6 volts or 7.2 volts So if you want to run a custom setup, this is perfect for you because here it has the supplied wiring for the motor that you would like to put on. Okay, so supplied with the kit, you'll receive adhesive foam double-sided tape, extra fan for the ESC, the base plate for the ESC, the cap back, which is basically some capacitors to help keep that voltage up. We get the standard user manual. Let's check it out real quick. So here's your basic programming features. Get some stickers. Yep. And here, guys, is a programming card. It comes with a protective film on the screen. Uh, here you have the actual table of the programming card for the ESC. So you can actually read this on the fly without having to keep your manual with you. ESC. You can see that really nice heat sink there. Those three big capacitors. Nice quality on the soldering for the Dean's connectors. Here you have a, in my opinion, a really rigid power button. Right. This is actually the push button style and not the slide. Okay guys, so we're back here with the setup. Here I have the ESC on my Arma Limitless. You can see here that I have changed the connectors to the XT90, the blackout ones. Here is an adapter for the battery I'm going to be using. They're included in the manual. It's going to show you right here how to do the calibration of the ESC. You can go ahead and pause the video so that you can read it at your own leisure. Okay, so we are going to be plugging up the battery. All right. Make sure your controller is on. While holding down the set button, you turn on the ESC. You are going to be getting some LED flash alerts along with some beeps. And then you release the set button once the calibration mode has been engaged. So hold on set button and power on. Alright, so it is in calibration mode. So here we have the trigger in neutral. We're going to be pressing the set button. Now we are going to apply full forward. Now we are going to be applying full reverse. Let go. Here the ESC is calibrated. See, I'm going to be showing you the manual way to set up the ESC using the set button. And when that is complete, I'm going to be showing you the programming card way. From numbers 1 to 11, you have your different settings. And you have from option 1 all the way to option 9. That's the parameter values. The dark areas, the dark squares, that will be the factory settings pre-programmed for you. We are going to be tweaking this a little bit, so let's get straight into it. Again, you can pause the video so that you can look at the chat for your ESC to calibrate. You're going to be holding on the set button and power it on, and you're going to be holding the set button until 
the ESC is going to flash for you the setting. Now, the way in which it works is that the beeper and LED light will flash according to the number setting you'll be on. So hold on the set button, pour it on, beeping. Okay, so that's running mode. LiPo cells. Low voltage cutoff. Now I let it go at setting 3. Low voltage cutoff. And that is auto immediate. So I'm going to be pressing the set button one more time to put it on option 4. And there it is. Power it off. And that will set to option 4. So you just repeat this process for any desired option you would like to have. Let's get straight into the programming card aspect of the ESC. So it has been several minutes and this is still on the same startup, I should say. So I'm going to be going ahead and programming the ESC manually because I'm not sure what's up with this. I did, I followed the correct steps to hook up this to the ESC, but I'm not getting through. So I'm just going to go ahead and program it manually. Okay guys, so that is the unboxing and setup of the Hobbywing Ezron Max 8. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. I'll leave a link for this ESC down in the description and also the specs of this product. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more if you would like to see future videos.